Kirsty Sprague and host of Kirsty TV facing her greatest fear. And so I am a truth seeker and I am a truth teller, but I wasn't always. So what would you do if you weren't afraid? Research shows that one of the biggest fears that leaders have is what others will think of us. I had lived for almost 20 years in a prison of my own making. Every part of me resisted this, but every part of me knew this part was resisting hard. This part knew. I knew I had to get ready. I knew this was the only way to set myself free. I don't want anybody else to wait 20 years. That is why I tell my truth. And I was bawling and I was crying. Who needs the Kleenex already? It was very relatable. They got really real, really deep, really fast. And that bawling and crying was the healing and the shedding of the weight that I've been holding. I think what I love most about today's event was watching people sort of wake up and find themselves throughout the day. There were several pivotal moments where I saw the audience sort of like respond in such a way that there was a rejoicing. You're gonna stand up if you've had something traumatic happen in your childhood. You're gonna stand up if you were bullied and felt alone. You're gonna stand up if you've been through recovery and addiction. I just wanna let everybody in this room know, in this moment, at this time, you are in the right place. Now what I do is I use tools that help me come home to my soul, that help me honor myself. There's truth that we all have to get to inside of us that can make us more triumphant. Because there's big truths around addiction, depression, coming out stories, but there's also these small little truths. Our emotions are not discerning. That when we numb our pain, we numb our joy. And we end up feeling something average and in the middle. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to stay there. I want to go across that bridge. I want to get to the joy. I want to get to the happiness. I want to feel brave and courageous. I was in awe, and I would have missed that if I'd allowed fear to dictate what I did. And I think there are moments for each of us when we can sit up with that warrior inside us and go, I'm okay, I've got this. What if your gift, what if your truth was actually your superpower.